Now, it's been 20 years since the devastating bomb blast in Mumbai. Over 250 people died in the deadly terror attack. But even so many years later, the final verdict in the case is still awaited. And for the victims and families, it's justice denied. The deadliest terror attack India has ever seen. Twelve bomb blasts ripping apart the financial capital. Over 250 dead. A bloodbath that had shaken Bombay and the world. In Harat, we would have a body to look at the body picture, not the body case, real put Kapra, a put name on the current body got to play to go to his Amalukulaka. But when I saw this device, especially at the stock exchange in the Air India building, I was myself uh, was really shocked to see the impact on the building. Twenty years have passed. Terror repeatedly striking Mumbai. But the final judgment still awaited. Kirti Ajmera, a stockbroker who was injured in the attack, underwent 40 surgeries, still angry with the government. government <laughs> In 2006, 100 accused were convicted by the Tata court, 12 given the death sentence. Actor Sanjay Dutt, guilty under the Arms Act, now out on bail, got a six-year prison term. But the main accused, Underworld Don, Daud Ibrahim and Tiger Memon, absconding, hiding in Pakistan. It was unique. Underworld use hua. This was shocking because Underworld was time tak communal. Nahi tha. इसके बाद में अंडरवर्ल्ड से निकल के आईएसआई ने अपने यहाँ के जो यंगस्टर्स थे उनको बहकाना शुरू किया और जैसे वो लो कॉस्ट प्रॉक्सी वॉर लाइक द विक्टिम्स उज्जवल निकम द स्पेशल पब्लिक प्रोसेक्यूटर टू कंसीड्स वेटिंग टू डेकेड्स फॉर जस्टिस इज मच टू लॉन्ग लेकिन दुख बात इसका है कि इस ट्रायल आज मुझे 20 साल के बाद जो मैंने बचपन में 20 साल के बाद एक जो हिंदी जो मूवी देखी थी उसकी याद आ रही है। अगर हमारा जो 20 साल हम लोग जिंदगी में पीछे चले गए, हमारे हमने लोग ने हम हम लोग ने जो कुछ गया है, वो तो हमें वापस मिलने वाला नहीं है। With Sunil Singh in Mumbai, Tejas Mehta for NDTV.